What's up, YouTube? Uh, this is uh, Screen Phony here. Um, I'm just here to talk about Amazing Spider-Man 2 and the fact that Marvel has apparently acquired, at least to a certain extent, Spider-Man as a character in the universe, uh, movie universe at least. So he will probably be appearing in uh, Marvel's uh, Cap 3 or Civil War, whatever the heck it's going to be called. Um, I'm a bit torn on this, but I'm shocked going through like message boards and hearing fans talk. They think it's the greatest thing ever. Now, I have all these theories behind uh, certain things, the way people act. First off, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2 was a really, really, really good movie. Excellent movie. Now, a lot of fans try their best to hate it. The reason is they can't stand that uh, Sony has Spider-Man and apparently they're in the way of keeping him away from their dream of Spider-Man interacting with Captain America. But this is the way people are, so they try the best to dislike the movie just based on that fact, which is really... It shows how p pity, petty people are. Um, and then that pity, the petty, yeah. So, their whole concept of, of the news about... Uh, in the Marvel Universe, like, yeah, bravo, bravo. Sony did a terrible job. Sony basically made two excellent Spider-Man Spider -Man movies. Then Spider-Man 3 came along, and it was horrendous. And then Amazing Spider-Man, I personally didn't like. But I know a lot of the fans actually did like that. But as soon as Spider-Man 2 came out, they completely flip-flopped on the uh, entire issue. So, it is due to the hate, once again, of uh, Sony having a character, which I loved. I think when you have di different uh, cr creative, I'm going to say teams, but studios behind movies, it's it's for the best. Things work so much better when you have, um, not one company controls everything. And uh, to be blunt, I dislike that Disney controls my favorite properties Star Wars and and Marvel, you know, some of my most beloved properties, they have their claws in them. Don't think for one second they won't um, ruin it. I, I was talking about, uh, with my buddies of mine, about uh, Star Wars. About how it was saved before the prequels. T basically, uh, 20 years it was saved from being ruined, kind of like Star Trek. Star Trek basically got run to the ground with some seriously bad movies. But Star Wars was, for the most part, saved from uh, too many uh, sequels and being saturated by uh, poor films until Disney gets a license. And Disney will run that in the ground like they will run Marvel into the ground. You know, everything you hear with Disney, they dislike uh, any company having Marvel properties such as the Fantastic Four and uh, obviously Spider-Man and... X-Men, and I'm a big action favorite collector, by the way, and it, you, basically for every X-Men movie since first class, there's been zero action figures being made, and it, you know, it, it's, it's it would do it to hopefully fans put pressure on Fox in some way, which Fox wouldn't care, they won't, they won't give up the X-Men on us, it's a horrendous amount of money being tossed their way. But uh, I, every little thing that uh, Disney does is to punish the fans, but I noticed the fans kind of, they blame Fox, which is insane. Fox actually made some great X-Men movies, yes, there was uh, Wolverine X-Men Origins, and there was uh, that X-3, you know, the awful last stand. But they've been pretty solid, you know. While while Marvel itself was floundering uh, poorly, Fox was actually uh, making some pretty good movies with uh, X Men One, X Men Two. Although I'm not particularly a fan of X Men One, X Men Two, but people really do love those movies, you know. But uh, back to the Spider Man now. It's just it's it's wrong, you know. It's wrong that first they're going to get rid of Garfield, who did an excellent job in Amazing Spider Man Two. But fans are so enamored with having uh, Spider-Man in that uh, whole Civil War nonsense. They're, they're fake fans, trust me. There is no, like, not to say there's no real comic book fans, but a lot of fans now are what I call fake comic book fans. You know, they, they, you know back in the 90s when I used to, um, uh, I was in uh, elementary school and eventually high school, 
I mean, for every like 30 kids that stay in class, there must have been like two or three who read uh, comic books. But now, according to our society, everybody reads comic books. It's such bull. You know, people are such liars. They're always like going with the, um, I call it the popularity stick. You know, there's certain people in society who decide, hey, this is popular. You know, this is, uh, this is the place to be. And people tend to go along with the person next to them. So that's why you have so many people uh, pretending to be comic book fans. My goodness, I guarantee a lot of people comic book fans right now. They, they probably even know what Incredible Hulk had a TV series in the seventies. So most likely, I would say people who are like, I would say twenty five and under, maybe slightly less than that. You know, they probably didn't even know Spider-Man had a quote unquote mini series. I think in the I think the late seventies, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, I bet they even know Captain America had a couple of movies, maybe three movies, maybe prior to uh, prior to the current uh, Captain America and the Winter Soldier movies. Um, that were just Captain America movies were pretty terrible <laughs> before the Chris Evans took over. But uh, that's besides the point. A lot of people just don't know because they aren't true comic book fans. They're just pretending now to be comic book fans because that's what society does. I remember reading the stat, must be like four or five years ago, about movies that uh, people pretend to watch. It was a stat in England. What's the movie that you guys uh, pretend to watch? I tell everybody you've watched, but you never have. And I think uh, the number one movie there was The Godfather. You know, everybody admits to watching it, but a lot of people just lie to go along with the crowd. But um, similar to comic books, they're lying, you know. They just, they're just, they're lying, they're not real comic book fans, you know. That's uh, that's what it comes down to, and uh, Andrew Garfield deserves a better fate. Unfortunately, he's going to get shafted, and it's not his fault. A lot of it is Disney, a lot of it is actually the fans. The fans who aren't real comic book fans. <laughs> Are pretending to uh, like comic books, which is a joke, by the way, a joke. But basically, you want different companies having having access to to comic book franchises. You know, it's great. Sony has one creative output, uh, Fox has one, and Marvel has one, and well, Disney has one actually. But you get the point there. So it's terrific. A lot of people just uh, don't understand and don't understand what they ask for. I'll give you a perfect example would be back in the 90s, a lot of people were big wrestling fans, you know, hardcore wrestling fans. But then people, uh, well, the WWF at the time, who, who are now the WWE, they purchased their main rival in WCW. And I remember fans were, oh yes, terrific, wonderful. But it wasn't wonderful. You know, the industry shrank tremendously. It was actually terrible for one basic company to control everything. And that's what really occurred. And that's what I think will happen with the... Uh, eventually will happen to Star Wars and eventually happen to uh, the Marvel properties. So it's uh, sad that uh, people don't seem to understand the concept. Or they care about this. Oh, Spider-Man is in the uh, Captain America universe and they can hang out together, be best bud, drink some beers. You know, but they aren't... They don't know what they ask for. That's what it comes down to. And uh, people hate when you tell them stuff about being phonies. They hate it. They'll hate you for saying it. They'll hate me for saying it. But it's true. What people have to do is uh, listen to what somebody says and think about it. If you think about it, you'll actually... Um, you might agree with me. You know, Maybe you won't. Maybe you will. But it's better to... Um, when somebody says something, never throw it away. I always think, could it be true? Could it be true? Don't automatically dismiss anything. All right, that's my little rant and my little comment about uh, Spidey in the Marvel Universe, movie-wise. And Garfield will be shafted. And the uh, fans, uh, fake fans, they just don't understand, uh, understand what they wish for. Um, that's it. I uh, hope you guys uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, share. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, and if there's any criticism, please uh, write it. You know, I like criticism. It helps me become a better person, become a better speaker, a better writer. Thank you. Bye.